that is Ripple has invested and is working with about 10 different governments around the world to do central bank digital currencies. I mean, a central bank digital currency is a stable coin. Going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity. And as an American, you know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it is it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances. And understand how the world really works, because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. 
Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction. So therefore, they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, we know the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we had Bitcoin and crypto move up as the stock market was closed. And then plus, of course, we got that Ethereum news. But as the stock market opens, we see crypto is moving back. Guys, it's like clockwork. Now, we had those AI tokens get a pump right along with NVIDIA. And those who have the NWO book understand. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we have yield rates right now moving up. And every single report that we get, whether it's jobs, whether it's housing, they're all bad. But the mainstream media, the financial news, they either spin it or don't say anything about it. Now we have the dollar up. We have volume and crypto down. We have Tether and USDC. And we have stablecoin issuers are now the 18th largest holder of U.S. debt. And this is part of the plan. Remember, they want to tokenize these treasuries. Keep this illusion going on, and this keeps the Fed in control. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. The repo at $375 billion on Tuesday. Make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis. And, guys, $375 billion is a lot of money. But just imagine when it was at $2.6 trillion. We've come a long way, but there's still a lot of liquidity in this market. And we know Janet Yellen has been behind the scenes pumping liquidity for the past two years. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have the Swiss National Bank and SDX exchange starts a two-year testing on CBDCs. But guys, we know these CBDCs are ready to go. And like Brad Garlinghouse stated, CBDCs are nothing but stable coins. And they're going to peg these stable coins to these CBDCs in order to keep the central banks in control. And we have the MICA or MICA rules going into effect. And we have delistings going on. So we're going to have a lot of volatility in the market because by you getting delistings from these stable coins, it's going to affect liquidity. Remember, guys, we've seen this movie before, but we have uphold, delist, tether, and others. But of course, they keep USDC. EURC, which is also done by Circle and PayPal. So like I stated, once these Michael or Mika rules go into effect, it's going to bring a lot of volatility. So guys, make sure you're paying attention to that. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have the spot Bitcoin ETFs, BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale all slightly up. And we have Vanex Bitcoin spot ETF goes live on Australia's biggest stock exchange. And the more spot Bitcoin ETFs we get, we know it's going to bring down a lot of the volatility. But guys, make sure you're watching the inflows and outflows. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Italy to increase surveillance of crypto market with fines as high as 5 million euros. And we know there's a lot of illegal activity that goes on. But guys, we know they're definitely not going to get fined. Now we have layer zero says users must pay 10 cent per token in order to claim the airdrop and the donations are going to a protocol guild. 
It's okay to ask for donations, but if you're telling people they're going to pay 10 cents, that's a fee. Now we have Binance's fine $2.2 million by Indian Financial Intelligence Unit. Now that's a reasonable fine, and I guarantee you that Binance had a whole lot more money in India than it did in the United States. Remember, guys, you're watching a movie. And then lastly, guys, we have Circles. Jeremy Allaire says that stable coins will make up 10% of money in the next decade. And we know he's exactly right because, guys, we're moving away from the fractional reserve lending to real-time settlement on blockchain where everything can be verified, at least majority of things. We know the central banks are going to be on a private blockchain. But real-time settlement and blockchain, you don't have to worry about trust. And a lot of the illegal activity that goes on now is going to be impossible. But again, it's very important for you to understand the technology. So therefore, you can keep your privacy. Remember, guys, as knowledge. This technology can be used for good or evil because these stable coins and CBDCs are going to give the governments even more power, these central banks even more power, where they can tell you whether you can buy or sell. And then with blockchain, they're able to know you better than you know yourself. They have the all CNI, and they'll be able to tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy, and you have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. And that's the reason why you don't want to rely on government to feed you, because if you do, they're going to eventually starve you. And remember, the crypto teacher told you, because he knows, when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. You guys, all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re educate. Also, New to Crypto's Coinbase, Bitchu, Bunnets. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.